this is the Dangerous Things Access Kit. It is an add-on for different products and value bundles. And inside we have two very important devices. The first one is the XCM Access Controller. This is a standalone circuit board module that has both a reader and memory included that you can add up to 50 different tags to. And this board will essentially read the tag ID, then compare it against its authorized list. And if it's authorized, it will activate this relay. The relay has through the wiring harness, normally open and normally closed contacts, which you know a good relay should. You can also program the time that the relay stays activated between one and five seconds with these jumpers here. There's a full video about this product. Uh, links and descriptions are below. Um, it also comes with, oh, this is very interesting. It comes with uh, some master tags here. So you can program custom master tags to this board in order to do the adding and removing and managing of uh, user tags. So the actual tags that actuate the access portion. So that's very uh, interesting, meaning if you don't like the key fobs, you want to make a key fob uh, or you want to make like a, a, a card or work badge or something like that as the master tag for adding new tags, you can do that. Um, you just set a jumper setting and that lets you program the master tags. But essentially, scan the master tag, then scan a tag you want to add, then scan again, and that's added. You can set up a clear tag. So if you want to remove tags from the memory, you can scan the clear tag, scan the tag you want to remove, scan again, and then it's removed from memory. So it has its own kind of built-in management system as well. Very cool access device there. So this is our 13.56 megahertz Dangerous Things KBR1, or Keyboard Wedge Reader. Uh, this is very interesting because when you plug it into a computer, the computer automatically, without any drivers, sees this as a keyboard. And when you scan any ISO 1443A tag, that's a 13.56 megahertz high frequency tag, you scan it, it reads the ID number and types out the ID number of the tag you just scanned as if it had been typed on a keyboard. And the reason that's important is that because you can do more than just like catalog your tags to an Excel sheet or something like that, you can actually set up some alternatives for computer login. So this is a very simple, uh, easy way to set up an alternative login authorization on Windows and Mac. And there's some, again, videos and links to those videos in the description below. So this is the access kit from Dangerous Things, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing.